Joker is now a billion dollar movie. And at first, a lot of us didn't think it would get there. But as time went on and we kept seeing that it's, you know, second and third and fourth week box office drop-offs were relatively low, we could see as more time went by that it was going to get there. And now it has. And this is a big deal because it's the first R-rated movie to make a billion dollars and it did it without China. It's very rare for any movie, no matter what it's rating, to get a billion dollars in the worldwide box office without China. And Joker it was a really relatively cheap movie to make. Like, you know, 50 or 60 million dollars before the marketing advertising costs. So for it to only cost that much money and then make a billion dollars in box office, you know, revenue, that's huge. You know, that's why we've seen articles saying that it's the most profitable comic book movie ever, or about as profitable as Avengers Infinity War, because it was really cheap. So this is huge. I mean, it's a huge win for all involved, all the actors, the studio, Warner Brothers, DC, and it also shows, it speaks to the power of the movie, right? I mean, I'm sure you've seen the articles that in countries all over the world, people protesting right now, a lot of them are donning Joker masks or painting their faces. You know, you've seen the memes in the videos of people, the tourists going to the Bronx, you know, and dancing or just posing on the stairs. I've seen people saying they want to go on dates with Joaquin Phoenix or they think the Joker is sexy, <laughs> right? And it's funny because before Joker came out, a lot of people in the media were saying things, you know, like Joker would destroy the world. It would motivate people to do horrible things. But as I've pointed out, it just inspired people to dance on stairs and say, you know, they want to make out with Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> so, you know, it's very interesting. Joker was already an iconic character before this movie came out. But I think the character has reached a new place in pop culture if his likeness is what people are being used or people are using when they want to protest like a government or something, you know, like in Hong Kong or in other countries. Right. Um, it's huge. It means that this movie is really speaking to something. It's like a cultural touchstone or something, a symbol of rebellion. It's like, you know, Guy Fox or like a purge mask or something. Although I think Guy Fox is a bit bigger in pop culture than the purge but a lot of people you know what the purge is um so yeah it's huge um does this bode well for the movie's oscar chances i think it does i don't think it's a slam dunk but i think it shows it's proof as i was saying before that this movie is resonating um and its message is strong right like it's not the joker is not about glorifying violence it's about a broken system and mental health, mental illness, and how people treat each other, and wealth disparity, right? I mean, I think that's the movie's real message, um, and how all these things can create so much chaos in our society, which, you know, gives the movie a huge social importance. I mean, I think that's a big reason why, you know, it's such a hit with people. But anyways, great news, and great update to make, and I can't wait to see how much more money the movie will make. I don't think it'll make too much more, beyond a billion, but who cares, right? It already reached that benchmark, so it's done its job. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.